Under the radar. Ah, I hear the auto gun. I mean, I only get 250 rounds on it, but worth it. All the fresh zombies coming out of City 17 and kept them pinned down. It's just a matter of time till the troops start pushing this way. If you think you're up to it, we'll let you out there. Huh. He's always up for it. Uh, speak for yourself. I mean, she does kind of speak for Gordon. Where I can let you over to the other side. That way you'll get to see the gun before it sees you. They're working on this car, but... Like, damn, it's gonna take a lot to get this thing going, I think. Hey, don't worry about us. See this car? We're fixing it up and getting the hell out of here. Driving to Hawaii. Beaches, babes, and waves. Tell you what, you ever get sick of this rubble crap? You know who to talk to. <laughs> okay, so I've never, ever heard that line of dialogue before. Oh my god, I love that so much. That. <sighs> you know, I'll help you out. Here. Double the horsepower, I think. That's hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> Good luck taking out that auto gun. Thank you. Alright, I will be right back. Just gotta go get a couple of things and then, uh. Oh! Yeah, that's right. Alright. Go get a couple of things and we'll take care of the auto gun. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's get on with the marathon. Wasn't actually sure if I was gonna get through the whole game, but it looks like I will. Of course. Yeah, you better back away. Uh, wait, this is better. Poor guy. You having fun? Uh, what a great start to my second session. Um, okay. I wonder, can you, can you punt them out of their hands? Because that's what I just tried doing and it didn't work. I know you can grab them, but can you punt them? Um, there you are. Okay. Grab this. You deserve the shotgun. Is the car sinking? The car is sinking. Ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. Um, let's get that one. I might be making this up, but I think in the uh, the developer commentary, they said that they put this truck here to teach players that you can get up the trucks when we get to the auto gun. I might be making that up, but either way, cool level design. Good job, Valve. This is where I'm going. This is the auto gun. Okay. Oh, as I say, it stopped. Bam. Uh, anyone else? Nope. Alright, bye Sawblade. Boop. <laughs> no, no, no. 
Oh, no, thank you. Okay. Let's be careful. Keep that pinky firmly pressed on the crouch button. Also, yeah, I remember those. Okay, do I have grenades? I do. Ooh. Yep, we're good. Okay. Are there soldiers yet? Hmm. Okay, I think I'm good to stand up now. Oh, there are. Where? Let's, uh, open that up and then... Well, bam. Oh, what? Oh, I think that was their grenade, not mine. Another thing that I like what uh, Half-Life Alex did is that uh, you can actually understand combine chatter. Because sometimes in Half-Life 2, I feel like they aren't actually saying real words, or, or it's muffled to the point where you, you can't understand it. Um, but in, in, in Half-Life Alex, it, it even shows up on the subtitles, which is nice. The motion capture in that game was incredible as well, among obviously other things, but just made me think of that. Um, oh, oh, I'd rather not. We don't like fast head crabs. Oh, should have saw that coming. That took out a good chunk of my suit. Uh, Alright, let's get rid of him. Convenient. Hello. Man, that reload animation is so good. there. I think there's a zombie around here. We. Trusty crowbar. Um, recently, not, not super recently, but a while ago, the final 1.0 I shouldn't say final, but uh, Black Mesa 1.0 came out. Uh, I haven't played much of it since then, but I know they added a bunch of achievements, or uh, they were already added and I just weren't aware of them. Anyways, one of them is the Doctor Signature, I think it's called, and it's finishing off the Gonark with the crowbar. I have yet to try it, but I mean, hey, at least the crowbar gets some use. This is always a fun time. I mean, I have a uh, grenade. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's use one then. Oh, did that do it? Nice, alright. Just kidding. Okay, where's the grenade cache? There it is. Hmm. Too bad there weren't more of these in the series, they're pretty cool. This is a nice little throwback to Lost Coast, in case you've played that. Stand back, kids. That's satisfying. Alright, off we go. Ooh, hi! 
How are you doing? Shoot. Head crabs do 10 damage. That's considerable. What a fun little level. Thank you. Hey, Gordon, the car's ready. Come on back and we'll get going. Oh, shit, I want to see the reload. Or the... Ah, yes. Just because I don't use it enough. No problem, man. Anytime. Come on, Gordon. Get in. How's Hawaii dude? Oh, was that Hawaii dude over there? Alright. Not only did they help me fix the car, they threw in a bonus. Special this week only. It's like an onboard radar for you guys. Picks up little beacon jobbers like this one here. We've hidden a bunch of these things out there in the field to signal emergency stashes. So keep an eye out. When you see your dashboard light up, you're going to want to stop and investigate. All right. I'll fill you in on the road, Gordon. Thanks again, you guys. No need to play. Let's hit some zombies. Let's do it. In the words of uh, Kelly Bailey, no one rides for free. Episode 2 soundtrack, so good. The episodes had really good music. Like, I love the Half-Life 2 soundtrack, and uh, it, it really excelled with the atmospheric pieces, but man, the tracks in the episodes are awesome. going towards you. Alex Vance, what a badass. That's why she got her own game. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, one sec. I'm gonna give you a bit of motion sickness. Ready? Oh, never mind. Sorry. Ah, she's fine. Okay, one of them was um right here. Oh, is this the rocket building? Yeah. I'll keep watch out here if you want to look inside the This is a neat little puzzle. Is it in there? I don't know. Whee! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's Gordon Freeman. If only we still had the long jump module. Well, while we have those additional rockets, might as well. Yeah. <laughs> Any more? Let's go get some. Well, here we go. Oh my god. Uh, it's so great. I don't remember this one. Hmm. We're getting a signal, but I don't see anything. What do you think, Gordon? I think that this is a classic Valve puzzle. Um. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. We'd never have known this was here without the beacon. Very true, Alex. I think the zombies want their stuff back. <laughs> God, I I love her commentary. Wow, that's 
A ton of stuff. Yeah, Alex is definitely part of what makes um, the episode so great. Uh, what else can we get from here? Uh, oh, I think we're full. Okay. Well, for good measure. Freaking head humpers. All right. Down for a little uh, hotel retreat, Alex? I think so. See if we can spot the hunters up there or whatever. Hey, something on the radar. Hmm. Oops. Now why would the combine put a roadblock way out here? Hmm. Good question, Alex. Is it? It's a little further up, isn't it? Yeah. Stay with the um, I remember the first time that I played episode two. It took me forever to find this thing, and it might still take me a while. Apparently, where is it? I know it's a cave we're looking for. Is it a bit further up? It might be. Huh. It's over here, isn't it? Oh, okay. I mean, I think we're full. On a boot? Gordon, you need new shoes? <gasps> oh, nice! That'll come in handy. Um, when I was thinking about playing episode 2 in M-Mod, immediately I thought of the, the White Forest infight. Just because I think this is really where the, um, the Combine soldiers are going to get to show their, their improved M-Mod AI or whatever. If that makes sense. I don't know. This is a fun fight. And as always, the soundtrack is awesome. Eon Trap, it's called. Now, I think if we go in before it starts, Alex has some lines. Let's see, I forget. Hunter breaks that door. Can we go in beforehand? I forget. Seems deserted. Yeah. Oh, this place must have been nice once. Hmm. I wonder how long it's been since anyone stayed here. Yep, those lines were worth it. <laughs> Basement is over here. Oh, that's right, I have the Tau Cannon now. We're gonna make that, put that to use, I meant to say. Okay. Well, Alex, let's be off. Just kidding. 
Alright, here we go. This is gonna be awesome. I'm probably gonna die. See how this is against the hunter. Or not. Oh, I missed. Okay, off to a rocky start. Let's heal up. Okay, we need health. Are you kidding me? Uh, there we go. Anyone else? Yeah, right here. Let's get upstairs. Uh, soldiers, where? There we go. up again. Oh, it's getting intense. Hunter around here. Oh, oh no. Uh, it was bound to happen. Okay. Tau cannon is failing me. Come on, let me get this one off before it blows up. Ah, oh, man. I always forget Alex can die, because she's usually, like, nearly invincible. She dies in Half-Life 2 pretty quickly, but they upped her uh, regeneration in the episodes, because she's kind of important. Okay, how are we going to do this? Um, I think SMG grenades are the way to go. Paired with a shotgun. Careful, there are shotgun soldiers down there. It's worth a grenade. Okay. Let's heal up before... Oh! I was thinking there was one more in here. Man, the sound of the hunter on the roof. Let's do this! Are you kidding me? Watch out, Alex. Where'd it go? Shoot. Well, bullets it is. Um, do we have a... There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh my god. Let's go, uh, let's get ready. <gasps> oh, 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 That freaked me out. Huh. 
Okay, so... That took... Well, that caused a couple more deaths than I would have liked. But nobody's perfect. Quoting Hannah Montana. That was awesome, though. Best part about that fight is that it can really go like a million different ways. There's so many opportunities for cover and different angles. And of course, they provide radiators, which are the most deadly thing in the universe. Let's be careful. Yep. Ooh, that's a lot of shotgun soldiers. Use the logs! Can someone in real life please make a um, burning rebar crossbow? I would love to see that. Okay. I think that's all of them. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Watch out. That was a fail. Take that turret down, Gordon. I wonder if the There's the reasoning the Oh, one sec. Huh. They haven't skimped on security either. Let me see if I can disable the shields and get you closer to the reactor. I was gonna say, I wonder if again, me trying to think of in world reasons for things. The weapons can go through the shields is because, I guess, combine weapons. Like if these grenades were the combines or pulse rifle bullets. I don't know. All good. Fair point, although I think we killed everything. I know you don't. Okay. Uh, there we go. So if we hit this, that'll happen. But... Oh! Close. Thank you. Here we go. Let's go see if the force field's down. Let's hope there's no more combine between here and White Forest. Well, technically there is, but uh well. We'll see that up ahead. Victory barrel. Well, Alex, I hope you had a nice day at the White Forest Inn. I'd say we did. Only died like four times. Alright, buckle up! I love her enthusiasm. What's 
Strider. And RPG. Wait for it. Oh, maybe not. There it is. Okay, how do we do this one? Oh, like that. All right. sound good. Hmm. Man, can you imagine um, episode 2 with some with Source 2? I was going to say modern graphics, but like Source 2, obviously. Uh, oh, it would look so good. Over there. I see an antenna. Huh, I think that's White Forest. <laughs> Little smile there. Sure, hope not. He coming? There we go. The bullet got her going. <laughs> Whoa, a dropship. That must have been the crash we heard. White four sentries are doing their job. The dropship was carrying something. <laughs> Epic. Oh, Dog is so cute. Oh my gosh. Please. <laughs> You're all right. Oh, oh, I love dog. You had me worried there. Oh. <laughs> working all right? Good. You all right down there? What a good boy. We're fine. Dog okay. Better now. Been waiting for you. Just follow the stream, then head up the other side. White Forest is right there. You can't miss it. All right. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Hey, dog. Want to play fetch? Let's play fetch with the strider brain. Where'd it go? Uh, there it is. Good boy. Oh, ho. Ugh. All right, let's see if we can beat Dog. Looks like we need your help again. Would you mind? What would we do without Dog? Ready, Alex? And go! Oh! Oh no! Ah, oh, he didn't want us to have an unfair start. Race you to the base. <laughs> Step on it, Gordon. All right. <laughs> Impact sounds. Don't look back. Don't look back. We got this. Ha 
Ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha G-Man should just employ a dog, not Gordon. We had a feeling you were close when we saw a dog take off like that. Oh, just gotta I was never so glad to see him, believe me. Plug my laptop in. Well, Gordon, quite there we go. We made it. Safe at last. Safe at last. <laughs> sure. Can I hop on his back? Damn. Coming, dog? 